babies. So today I wanted to show you what an off-leash heel looks like. So in case you haven't seen it, I did a video the other day in reference to BB, and it just says, um, what the hell is heel? So the heel position, um, you know, it means at my side. So if I'm moving, if I'm walking, then it means the dog should walk at my side at my pace. If I am sitting and I say heel, the dog should come and sit at my side. Now that's how I teach it as in to sit at the side. You can teach them down, you can teach them stand at the side, it doesn't matter. I personally like them to just sit because usually we're in the mood, we're getting ready to do something else. Now it shouldn't matter whether you're standing, whether you're walking, it doesn't matter. Heel, it, as a position, heel is simply at your side, one or the other. Okay, left or right doesn't matter. It's a matter of which side you teach them. So I want to give you an example of where I'm trying to get with BB. Um, I have to transition him from on leash to off leash. And going through that process, you know, he's going to go through a lot of stubbornness because, you know, I, I didn't follow through the whole way like I normally do. So, but this here, I think, will give you an idea of where I'm trying to get, um, especially with a little dog. A lot of people don't expect a small dog to do the commands like the big dogs do, the heels and sits and stuff. We just don't, we don't require it of them. You know, our standards are a little bit lower for smaller dogs, um, and it's because we can physically manage them better, usually, unless they're biters. So, winter heel. Winter, heel. Because we're on sit. Uh uh, heel. Let's go, heel. Winter, heel. Sit. That's a down. Sit. Let's go. Very good girl, baby. Very good girl. Heel. Leave him. Thank you. 
That's better.